Okay, in a previous video, we showed how to use virtual network peering to connect two virtual networks together so the resources on one virtual network could access resources on another virtual network. Now, in this one, we're going to look at creating an Azure VPN gateway. So, virtual network peering works great for networks within Azure. For things outside of that, then we need to use VPNs. And we can do a VPN gateway to a a virtual network in uh, AWS or even to Azure or GCP, or we can do it do a site-to-site -site VPN to our main office so that we can create a pure or true hybrid environment. Or we can even do it for a P to so, so to a specific site, we call it an S test or site-to-site -site VPN. Um, or we can create a P2S VPN, which is point to site, which is where instead of linking an entire network via VPN, I just link my one device, which is something we'll do if we're traveling on the road or working from home. Okay, so let's talk about how we need to do this. Um, now, before we go very far, we have to create a network or a subnet specifically for gateways. And I've done that already right here. Let me go ahead and show you how, even though I've already got it in place. So we just add a subnet, and then we'll set the purpose of the subnet to VPN network gateway. And it creates one called gateway subnet. And obviously, you can only have one here. But you'll set an IP address, and it needs to be at least a slash 27 in order for it to work. And then you just click add when you're done you create your subnet and that's what I ha already have right here and we have to have that and notice it sets it to set the name sets the name to gateway subnet we have to have that before we can create a VPN so now that I've got my subnet in place I'm going to go to my all services and in my networking I want to look for hybrid connectivity and what I'm looking for here is virtual network gateways. So I'm going to click on that and create a new virtual network gateway. Now, this actually won't do a whole lot of configuration, but it will create the gateway for us. But there's a couple of things we need to see here. So uh, here's our name. I'm going to call it Demo VPN Gateway. And then what region? <clears throat> and then we've got two different types. This can be a VPN or an express route. VPN is going to route traffic over the internet. Express route is going to route traffic through a service provider. A pro you have a dedicated line to the provider who has a link back into Microsoft. We'll set the SKU number for the generation, whether we want generation one, generation two. And then here's where we're going to uh, select the virtual network that we want. You also have an option to create one here. But we've already created a demo, we created a link on the demo virtual network. So notice these virtual networks I have right here, I can't do associate them with a virtual network. And the reason is I don't have that gateway subnet enabled. When you enable that gateway subnet or create that gateway subnet, that's what moves it up here, it can be associated with a virtual network gateway. So I'm going to select my demo virtual network, and then we can create a new public IP address or use an existing one. We've got to give it a name. I'm going to call this demo VPN gateway ADDR for address, <clears throat> and then we'll set our availability zone. I'm just going to set it to zone redundant. Now, I can enable active-active mode. So what this does is this creates a couple of different links for me that are both active at the same time. But since this is a demo, I'm going to go ahead and disable that. I can configure BGP, don't need that, and then enable Key Vault access. And I'm going to go ahead and leave that disabled too. So this gives me the beginnings of my network gateway. So I'm going to click Next. I'm not going to tag Review and Create. And then... Past validation, so we are going to create. Now, notice there's a lot of configuration that typically goes into VPNs that did not happen here. That's okay. Um, we'll deal with a lot of that configuration once the VPN gateway is created. But this is just creating the gateway, not the VPN. Now, I will tell you the other thing that I'm planning on doing, because I don't have a site that I can connect this to. We're going to walk through where we've walked through this process of creating it i'm going to pause this here in a minute because this takes a while i think the last time i ran it it took about 20 minutes 
Um, so you'll notice demo VPN gateway is created, but our deployment is still in progress. So it's going to take a while. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. When we come back, I'm going to show you some configuration screens. And I'm not going to be able to go real far because I don't have another site that I can connect this to. So going through a full configuration doesn't make sense. But I do want to show you where it's at and what some of the, some of the options are. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. We're going to pick it up when... Uh, the deployment is finished. Okay, our virtual network gateway has been created. So we're going to click on Go to Resource. This is going to take us to our gateway configuration. Now remember, we created the gateway. We did not uh, do much configuration on it. The configuration on it is going to happen here. So this is my uh, demo gateway overview screen, and you can see it'll show us data total tunnel ingress, egress, recommendations, uh, our IP ad, our public IP address for the gateway. It's a route-based virtual, um, it's a route-based VPN rather than policy-based VPN. Most of the time, route-based is the correct one anyway. So if we go to configuration, this is going to show us where we can change or we can view or change our SKU. We can also configure BGP and enable active active mode and BGP here. Here in connections, now this is going to show us our site to site connections, and I don't have any, so I want to walk you through this, even though there's not much I'll be able to do with it. So I'm going to click add, and this will let me set up a site to site VPN. So here's my connection type. So it can be virtual network to virtual network. Uh, site to site using IPsec or an express route. So I'm going to do site to site using IPsec, and then I'm going to give it a name. And I'm not actually going to save this, but I want you to see it anyway. So S2S VPN. And then we'll go to our settings. So we choose our virtual network gateway, which is one we have. We would set up a local network gateway. Now, for this, we'd have to go in and create a local network gateway, and then we'd be able to choose it here. But for that local network gateway, I'm going to have to know the IP address of my VPN. Or it's got to be a public IP address. It's IPsec, so it can't be behind a NAT or a firewall. Um, so I need to set up a gateway with a VPN or an address of my VPN device inside or on the perimeter, not inside, on the perimeter of my network. So I would create my local VPN gateway or my local network gateway, and then I would select it here. Authentication method, I can set it up using share, uh, pre-shared key or a key vault. I'd set the pre-shared key protocols. All of the different settings we would select with a site-to-site -site VPN. And then we'd go on to tags and then review and create. Now, this actually isn't going to work because I'm missing some things like, you know, my gateway and my pre-shared key value. But that's how you would set up your connection. And then when you come back here, yep, lose all my edits, I don't care. When we come back, I went back one too many. When I come back here and go to my connections, then I would see those connections. Now, I can do multiple VPN connections for each VPN gateway. All right, so I don't have to recreate a VPN gateway for every single thing. So if I want, you know, four branch office sites with site-to-site -site VPNs coming into this virtual network, perfect. I just create my four branch office sites. So this is my peer to, or point-to-site VPN configuration. So here in connections, I'm going to set site-to-site -site or virtual network to virtual network. Here I'm going to do a point-to-site configuration. And remember, that is for an individual device. So... Let's click on configure now. So I would set the address pool that I wanted to use. I would set the tunnel type and then the authentication type. Do I want an Azure certificate radius authentication, Azure Active Directory, which is now enter ID. Um, and then I have to set the tenant and the audience and the issuer for Azure Active Directory. If I'm doing radius, I need to set my radius server and my primary server secret second address if needed. For an Azure certificate, uh, I would need to set the root certificate. So whatever I want for authentication, and this is using OpenVPN SSL, which is great because that will allow us to actually make this available to clients who are behind in that firewalls. If I do IPsec, I can't 
But notice all of these are variations of OpenVPN or SSL VPNs. So SSTP. So uh, lots of different tunneling options. So when I'm all happy with it, then I save my configuration here. And again, I really don't have anything to work with. So that's kind of a moot point. But I did want you to at least see the screen. And then back in the overview, yep, you'll be able to see as people come in, here are my, this is my data coming in. So that's the total tunnel ingress, egress is data going out. So I can see how much this is being used. Okay, there we go. Um, we've set up a VPN gateway and taken a look at the configuration screens for configuring both site-to-site -site and point-to-site VPNs.